welcome back in today's video i am going to show you a salary management web app dashboard which is created by using the google sheet as a database and google web app script okay so as of now in the dashboard you can able to see the total employees number so right now in my organizations i have total eight employees i have paid this particular amount to this month okay this is the current month amount which you have expend which you have spent on your employees okay now the total advance amount is here which you have given out and the outstanding amount is here okay moreover further in the recent transactions you can see here all the transactions which you have recently been made to your employees for example this is a employee and he worked 67 uh, 67 hour in your organization and they get be paid by the 29000 rupees okay in this monthly salary trend you have given in the last month 178550 usd okay uh, now when you click on this employee so as of now you can able to see here the employee management okay so when you again click on this employee it means it refresh the data for example uh, in someone admin added in the uh, back end or you have added in the google sheet manual data entry so whenever you click on this employees so the data will be refreshed okay so you can see here the data the data is going to be refreshed and show to your web application now further you have a two more options the edit and the delete functionality so you can see here this particular employee have this number this details this join date and the hourly rate is this and the department is this okay if you want to click on this edit you can simply change them to the finance and you can change them the 600 okay and click on this save employee okay understand hope you can understand employee updated successfully now it refresh data and get data from the google sheet you can see here the finance is updated here okay so right now you can see here here's the total nine entries but in the dashboard we have the eight entries shown so the reason is that we have one employee is inactive because this em uh, employee leaves the company bus but this record is available if you want to delete this record you can simply click on this delete icon and click on this yes delete so your record will be deleted successfully so as of now you can able to see here employee deleted successfully and data will be refreshed now and if you want to add a new employee you can simply fill out this form and easily add a new employee okay in the salary processing what is in the salary processing okay to so showing you the exact working of our payroll management or our salary management system i will add a new employee okay i will add a new employee i give him a name avas okay i give him a name avas and give him uh, this phone number and uh, the department is the it and the hourly rate is 5600 okay and the status is active and click on this save employee so when i click on this save employee my employee is added successfully in my database and now you can able to see here the avas is going to be the successfully added okay now here's the thing we have used to a to z order okay so you can see here a's values come and b's values later okay so you can see here the 5600 rupees hourly rate and we go to the salary processing when we go to the salary processing and select the avas you can see here the 5600 rupees hourly is automatically comes here okay one more thing this is the outstanding loan what is the outstanding loan in the advances and loans i select the employee and select the date and amount for example he get me the 5600 rupees in advance and the description is advance amount okay and click on this give advance so when you click on this give advance means you have paid them the 5600 rupees okay now it will update the data in our database and you go again to the salary processing and select the avas you can see here this avas and now when you select this particular avas so you can see here the holding rate is this and the outstanding loan is 5600 rupees automatically comes here so he worked in your organization is one hour and if he want to detect the amount you can simply add the deduction amount means you have detected the amount and click on this process payment 
so when you click on this process payment you can see here net amount must be greater than zero okay so we can add them here 5999 okay uh, 59 must be greater than zero okay no problem 5000 rupees and click on this for assess payment now the 600 rupees is net amount payable okay which we have which we need to give them okay now you can see here view all the transactions when you click on this view all the transactions you can see all the transactions which we have been made to our employees it will be shown here and you can simply easily copy download the excel file or print out the data as well okay so you can see here you can print out the, all the salaries list as well now go to the transactions history in the transactions history you can see uh, again you can see all the uh, transactions which we have been made here and you can also apply the filters for example this particular user okay this particular user and click on this apply filter and when you click on this applied filter that particular employees data will be shown here okay now the main things come here in the report section what is the report section okay now you can understand the total payroll this year we have this particular amount average salary we paid this and the total transactions for and the active employees is nine okay now we select a particular user we select that is avash and click on this uh, generate payslip so when we click on this generate payslip it's a pdf a download about their payslip role management okay now you can see here the pdf is downloaded and we open them so you can see here the name the um, id and the department and their names and the working total hours worked and the gross amount is this and this particular okay so in this way you can also generate the pay slip so hope so you like this video you like this concept and you like this uh, salary management web application so you can see here we have the total nine employees and in the recent transactions you can also see here uh in the recent transactions you can also because you can see here the recent transaction is this not this but what happens here we have used a to z uh, order so you can see here this uh one factor is this the, that particular amount is greater than this and that particular amount is greater than this and secondly main factor uh, by which uh, issues uh, this will happen these both transactions are on the same date and this transaction is a huge amount and this transaction is a small amount so it in that way that particular transactions will be shown above and that will be below okay these are the some factors uh, on which uh, depend okay now you can see here this is the monthly trend salary and now you can able to see here 29600 now if you go to again to the salary processing and select a particular employee and when you select a particular employee as of now you can able to see here their holy rate is this and their outstanding loan is this and they have worked uh, 50 hours okay now they are going to give you the 4000 rupees loan okay from the 32500 rupees 4000 is deducted and the remaining amount is this and you can add the comments here and click on this process payment so when you click on this process payment so you can see here your payment is going to be added successfully okay so you can see here the payment is successfully added and go to the dashboard so when you go to the dashboard as of now you can able to see here the sarakhan is added here successfully because it's come after the a so that's why the recent transactions will be this okay now the factor is 58 100 and this are, are also changed and this also advances and this standing payout okay so three pending uh, amount which we need to collect from our employees so hope so if you like this video you like this concept and uh, please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon thank you very much